Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Georgie Man, and I'm your friendly neighborhood anime and manga fan. I love all things anime and all things manga, and I'm here today to talk about Chainsaw Man chapter 157. So, what did I think about this week's chapter? Honestly, I thought this week's chapter was fantastic, and the main reason was because we finally get some confirmation of who was the person of last week's chapter, which just happened to be Asa. But Asa wasn't alone. We find out that Fami also is with her. So that was a very interesting note because we do know that every time Fami has shown up in the story, you know, has been very important and crucial for the developments in part two. So it was really great to see both of them in this week's chapter and, you know, have, have a little update on what they're up to right now. Now, before I go any further with this week's chapter, I just want to give you guys a quick reminder to make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you guys can be up to date with all my Chainsaw Man as well as all my anime and manga content that I'll be providing in this channel. It really helps out a lot and I would really really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to my YouTube channel. So if you guys could, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now with all that out of the way, let's get into this week's chapter. So this week's chapter starts off literally where we left off last time, which is pretty much the silhouette of the legs. You know, everybody, I saw a lot of people speculating it was going to be Reese. I knew from the get-go it was going to be like, Asa, like, but I didn't think Fami was going to be with her. So that, so that was a nice surprise. But um, pretty much what happens is they show up and... You know, Asa is still missing her arm, which I kind of figured that, you know, it kind of would grow because of Yoru's power, because Yoru has, like, healed Asa in the past. So I was pretty surprised, like, when I saw her just, like, without the arm. So that was pretty funny. Like, uh, it's been a while, you know. <laughs> so what happens is pretty much um, um, they're talking about, like, yeah, we got to break out Denji uh, or chain some in. And they're talking about, like, Asa starts asking, like, is it, is, like, is really beating chain some in? The only way to, that we can save Chainsaw Man because we remember according to family there's the red Chainsaw Man and the black Chainsaw Man which we do know it's Denji the red one and then Pochita the black one and they only have beef with the black one you know because they're racist <laughs> okay I couldn't keep a straight face with this <laughs> I was a lame joke I get it but uh pretty much what happens is uh Yoru and Asa uh pretty much they're talking and they're like okay well we gotta do this so then you know family is like all right well let's go and then you know Asa starts talking to herself she's like okay I gotta make sure I save Chainsaw Man because it's only fair that I've saved him since he's fa he saved me time and time again so I definitely gotta save him so we see that they proceed to start walking towards you know this prison and they're talking about like okay like family starts asking like where's Denji like where's or where's Chainsaw Man where's Chainsaw Man it's like it's underground level B33 or something like that and it's like just so you know do not trigger the alarm because we're about to step in and once we trigger the alarm everything's gonna go you know it's gonna go downhill for us so we you you gotta take care of the entrance you're gonna get us in your room and he's like she's like okay i got it and as soon as they're walking to like getting closer you see some people on the cameras looking at them it's like who are they they don't look like devils it's like oh they're probably some high school girls it's like oh well what a shame and you see these turrets show up and these turrets are pointing like their guns at asa and, and fami and we see pretty much Femi start explaining to us as the audience, like, okay, so once, you know, uh, Asa was part of the Chainsaw Man church, she had all those TV fees that she was paid and, you know, the advertising and all everything like that. And apparently Asa has a lot of money. Like my girl is very wealthy right now because I guess she has like 1.33 million yen or something like that. So she said that with all that money, she purchased, you know, software or something along the lines that was made to, you know, make these turrets these turrets that are used by the, the i guess the the government so she in a in you know in a in a silly way she owns and possesses these guns because she paid for them so therefore you know she owns them by that by that definition so she's able to like turn them on them and she goes college fun uh turret or something like that and it was funny and you just see like you know uh asa just start controlling the turrets and like start shooting at the wall and that's how they get in pretty much and then you see that you know pretty much uh fami explains to us that she's like you see like like because also yoru was like wow she didn't even have to touch them like that's crazy that's great and because you know how yoru you know she usually has to touch stuff to pretty much transform it into a weapon and we see pretty much fami clarifies to us it's like well yeah that used to be like what she needed to do but not anymore because as the fear of war continues to grow and grow you've gotten stronger so now you don't even have to touch anything to turn it into a weapon so that was crazy because now it's really solidifying like yoru has gotten way stronger than she used to be you know like even something as simple as you know not having to touch something that's a like huge upgrade in the battlefield you know especially when you're fighting more powerful devils and stuff like that so yoru i'm very curious to see just how powerful she is like what's her full extent right now 
because that we still haven't seen it at, at, to this point so i'm very curious to see what would happen in the future but pretty much what happens is they infiltrate finally they get inside and as soon as they're getting inside it's like okay well here's the plan guys like okay hear me out like family starts explaining to us it's like okay so once we get in there um there's gonna be like a bunch of soldiers and everybody all, all these like combat trained like personnel we gotta infiltrate and like be sneaky and then like we gotta get chainsaw man out of here or whatever and they're like okay um well what about you like but uh, like cause she she starts telling like family like listen i only have one arm bro i can't fight and family is like yeah well i i, I can't fight either because i'm your, like your trump card and you don't just use your trump card right off the get-go you kind of save it up so she's like oh i guess all right just like okay so here's the thing just whatever you do also just be stealthy and we'll we can go through this easily like don't just don't bring any attention to us and we got this we got this in the bag i'm just telling you please please don't fumble the bag she just pretty much says like please i'm begging you in her own sense i guess <laughs> but she's like all right just as long as you don't nothing we don't mess anything up and when the, the discovery should be easy peasy and also like, okay cool got it literally the next panel she just falls <laughs> which was hilarious like it's so funny how fujimoto keeps bringing this gag of her just being clumsy and always tripping and i've seen some theories actually online that she the reason she trips so much is because she like off screen got a contract with like the tripping devil or she's cursed by the tripping devil i've seen some some silly jokes and silly memes so i want to put that past uh, fujimoto some, for something like that but pretty much yeah she trips and it's hilarious you just hear her in the floor and then the final uh panel you see fami like pull up these th this thing and she's like all right what a klutz like i guess i gotta take it from here and if i had to speculate i mean she pulls this thing and we do know that fami can just like transform things like i don't know where i mean we saw the falling devil so i'm, I'm uh, i don't know if it'll be the falling devil itself that she because we do know that she transformed it back into like a little miniature like chicken leg or something so i don't know if she's gonna transform that falling like that's actually the falling devil or it just happens to be another devil that's like you know like it looks like beef jerky or something <laughs> because you know fami can do that um but yeah that's how the chapter ended and overall i was very thrilled and very happy about this week's chapter because like i said we finally get some confirmation and updates regarding asa and yoru and this is something i have been saying for a couple of chapters like i would like to see them and you know we finally got them back so we do know that you know they're gonna rescue quote unquote rescue uh denji um unbeknownst to them that denji is chained somehow because they don't i mean we know that asa doesn't believe him so it'll be pretty funny actually when she's like hey you're that guy like denji like where's chain Man at like i will love i love that so much I, I i feel like fujimoto will do something like that in the sense of you know she that she'll uh chain someone will be like hey like i'm chain someone is like no bro stop lying like who really where is chain someone at? <laughs> and i think that'd be pretty funny uh but yeah it was also we don't know any like confirmation or regarding the Haita situation which i didn't expect i didn't think we we're gonna get an update this early on because it seems like fujimoto left that you know like for the future so um if i had to speculate like i said i don't think Naita's is dead at least not yet um and right now pretty much we're gonna see fami and asa and yoru they're gonna go and it looks like they're gonna wreck shop um i don't think the the public safety has any chance to be honest unless they have like some broken like people that we've never heard of like that just show up out of nowhere because we do know i think that well if quan is in the facility then they maybe then maybe they can have definitely some trouble but i don't know if fami herself is in the facility we do know that fumiko's there yoshida's there um but I haven't seen uh, Quan Chi or Katana Man, which actually, you know, it'd be pretty funny if once they're breaking them out, you know, Katana Man shows up again. It's like, okay, I've been waiting for this moment, bro. Like, I've been harboring my skill with the sword, with the blade. Oh, like, I'm ready for this rematch, Denji. Let's go. And then they, like, Denji just one shots. <laughs> that'd be pretty funny. Like, that'd be actually pretty funny, uh, all things considered. But yeah, overall, like, this chapter was, like, really, really good. Like, I really, really like it. And the best part is that there's no break next week. So, you know, Fujimoto just dropping heat and heat back to back and like i said i'm very curious to see just how powerful yoru is currently in the story um because we do know like the fear of wars all over the place so i'm very curious to see if we're gonna see just the extent of her power in the next following chapter so we're gonna save it for later so something to, uh to consider in the future but yeah with all that being said what did you guys think about this week's chapter did you guys love it did you guys hate it did you guys thought it was all right whatever you guys thought let me know in the comment section down below also, thank you so much for sticking all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Chainsaw Man, as well as more anime and manga content in the near future. But yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.